Hey you guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It is your favorite girl, A. Marie, and today we're doing yet another Shop My Stash. I hope you guys are enjoying the Shop My Stashes. I have been doing better this year with actually using my shop my stash items in my videos so all month long in january you seen mainly nothing but shop my stash products when it came down to doing makeup looks so i wanted to keep that up as well as throw in some more project pan items as well as some new items that i picked up from the drugstore you guys i picked up a lot of things from the drugstore but it hasn't been that much for me to give you guys a haul on but i did want to throw some of those products in so that we could do some first impressions as well as foundation wear tests and stuff like that so hopefully you guys are interested in this type of video and want to see what i'm adding to february's shop my stash for the month and before we go any further you guys go ahead and give this video a like if you're enjoying it so far or if you like these type of videos as well as go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the notification and we're gonna go ahead and move over to the vlog camera All right, you guys, here we are. As you could tell, I told you we were flipping over. You guys, I just got through filming a video, so everything is looking kinda messy. So we're just gonna talk about some things really quickly that we're gonna, you know, remove for the month and we'll jump over into the drawers and the new bin so that we could pull some things out. Okay, so i did use this one i used the coconut fit me foundation i used the sephora i used the la girl and i used the dream so we are gonna put back the dream we're gonna put back the la girl we're gonna put back the dewy the coconut dewy i did use this these two are almost completely done i don't know if you guys could tell but they're almost completely done um i kind of want to keep the dewy out you guys i don't know what's been going on with me and dewy makeup but y'all it's happening it is happening i'm gonna put back my new sephora so we're gonna put back all of these products we're going to sit them over here for right now. Don't mind my ashtray in the back, you guys. We're not talking about that. We're going to put these back. We're also going to put the Milani Make It Dewy Set Mist. Why are we not focusing? We're going to put this bad boy back as well. I did use her up a good bit, but I want to give something else a try. We're going to leave this lipstick. We're going to take this lipstick, this lipstick. We're going to leave those three. But we are going to take these two lipsticks because this is everything that I used for the month. We did use all of these products. And you guys... I am enjoying all of these products so far, except for the Milani Dewy Setting Spray. I do have another one that I was supposed to leave. And we, oh, we're gonna put this one back up, the NYX Suede Lingerie. I use this one enough. So we're gonna put that back. Everything in here stays the same. I'm gonna continue to use the Anastasia. And we're going to put these lashes back because we never did use them and I don't think I'm going to use it. So we're going to put that back. Let's move the makeup brushes out the way. Oh, you guys, what I think I noticed is that I'm not going to add 
Um, I'm not going to add eyeshadow palettes no more to the shop mustache for the months because of the simple fact no matter what I'm doing it just goes by the look I'm feeling for that day so I don't want to be gun hold to certain eyeshadow palettes when I may not even be feeling that so I'm not going to add eyeshadow palettes no more I'm just going to be showing you guys which eyeshadow palettes I'm using for for that particular video and by the way you guys if y'all are enjoying this little sexy look that's going on right now go check out my instagram my igtv on this look right here i just filmed it for igtv and you guys should go check it out look at that ombre brow oh, look at that brow girl she's killing she's Nah, but y'all go check out my Instagram TV and you guys should see this popping ass look right now. Anyways, all right, sorry you guys, my wife had called. So, let's go back into, oh, okay, I can tell you guys something. I am going to keep my swipe right and everything, my mascaras I'm still working with, but I am going to finally move this brow pencil over and this brow pencil but i'm gonna keep the nyx one over so we're gonna put those to the side i'm gonna keep that lip pencil by city colors in and i did add my two lashes that i bought just recently i'm wearing a pair right now and this pair is the other one i haven't yet used my mask or anything so ugh let's move this stuff over i'm gonna keep my elf poreless putty primer in um let's see oh these liquid lipsticks i'm leaving in because i did not use them not one time oh i used sunday fun day by Too faced but these three oh no these are the lipsticks that i did use okay so I'm gonna swap all three of these out, the Ofra. I wanna leave my Jazzy Cosmetics in though, in my AOA studio. Come on, why are we not focused? Ofra and AOA is gonna go over here with the other lipsticks, but I am gonna keep the Jazzy Girl collection because I really like that lipstick. I am gonna switch over my Too Faced Sunday Fun Day. And we're gonna pull this bad boy out now you guys I did use a lot of these I have been using the Ruby kisses I actually don't like the origins matte moisturizer so I'm gonna put that to the side I'm gonna keep the Too Faced hangover RX as well as the wet n wild matte and poreless I mean the matte primer i didn't use that one nor did i use the elf poreless face primer so we're gonna keep all those in and you guys know two of them are a part of the project pan for the year so we're gonna leave those y'all still gotta tell me how to get the rest of the product out of here so that i can use that up I did pull out the Make It Last by Milani due to the fact the dewy one was just a little too dewy for my skin. So I started mixing it with the Make It Last and the dewy. So I'm going to keep the Make It Last out for the month. Um, we're going to put this one back, you guys. I got to give you guys an update really soon because I've been really using this like almost every day. We're going to put this one back. I just pulled this one out of my bathroom for the look that I did today. So therefore, I think she's going to swap over to this month. If I could get her open. I can't. So this is a Ruby Kisses Matte Finishing Powder. And this one is in Chestnut. So we're going to keep that one for the month. I did end up pulling out my Cody Airspun because the Revlon was doing some weird things. So we're going to keep that one out. I did pull out my Pretty Vulgar Black Liner for my brows because the ABH one just wasn't doing it. So we're gonna keep that one out. We're gonna keep our Sassy 
eyelash glue out. The pixie is almost done, you guys. There's a certain way that I've been having to use that because the spritzer on it is not working too well no more. So I've been spraying this on my beauty sponge and then pressing it into my skin to set my face. So we're gonna keep that bad boy out because we're almost done with it. These two, I just did a makeup look and review on it. If I can remember, I will have it linked so that you guys could catch it if you missed it but i really 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 like these two eyeshadow palettes now these two eyeshadow palettes i may keep out because we are in the love month and i think these colors are great for the love month so i think i'm gonna keep sugar plum and poison apple out so let's move on we're gonna put all of these palettes back like i said you guys we're not gonna worry about palettes this month but we are going to keep Fenty's Espresso and Truffle, Truffle Matchstick out now this one we used up a lot of products I want to put this back I want to put that Tarte back I want to put the LA Girls back I want to put the Tarte Tardius back I need to get another liquid eyeliner or I'm just up shit creek and I want to put the Kat Von D back. So we're down to one liquid eyeliner right now. Now, lip liners. Um, we could keep Jordana. We can keep Night Moth. We can, let's see, did we use Coco? Yes, we used Coco. We could keep that. We could go ahead and put Black Up back. We used that enough. I did not use Rich Chocolate at all by Maybelline. I could put Mudslide by Gerard Cosmetics back. Um, chocolate by LA Colors, we could put back. I used it a lot. Actually, I used it today. The Wet n Wild um, in Gone Burgundy, we haven't used. We haven't used the NYX Urban Cafe, so we're gonna keep. And we could put Brown back by NYX because we used it. So we're not gonna pull out any more lip liners for the month. All right, so moving into the concealers. Y'all, we actually used every last one of these concealers this month. And I wanna put every last one of them back because I used every last one of them. I know some of them are a part of Project Pan, but right now I just wanna use something else. Like literally all of these are Project Pan concealers but i feel like i want to use something else so we're gonna put all those back all right we didn't use none of these oh excuse me we didn't use none of these so we're gonna leave every last one of them we're gonna leave all our single eyeshadows the loose eyeshadows and glitters because we didn't use many let's move on to right here we're gonna put abh blush back i used her enough we're gonna always keep Laneige in there. We're gonna put the Ulta Cheeker black back and we're gonna put Morphe Sparks back. We use those all month long and I am still loving them so we're good on that. Now let's move on into this one. We're gonna put the Revlon back until we are ready for the updated video on the this line. Um, I'm not going to speak too much on it so that I could talk about it in the update. We're going to put Hula Toasted back. We used her. We're actually going to put the Full Spectrum CoverGirl Ebony Bronzer back because I used the hell out of that. I did pull out my Fenty Honey um, when the Revlon was doing something different. So I think I want to keep her. But I noticed she's a little harsh and a little overkill on the drying aspect so we're gonna use it and see we're gonna put this one back this one actually came out too dark for my all over face powder which is the full spectrum this one is in deep cool four it actually came out to be too dark for all over my face and i started using it for a contour and i had to use it with a light hand so we're gonna put that back and we are going to keep out the Wet n Wild Golden Flower Crown. I did pull this one out when I was getting a little tired of sparks, so we're going to keep that bad boy. 
So this is everything that we're going to put back for the month, including those palettes over there. But this is everything that I actually been using and mm, somewhat enjoying and somewhat disliking. So we're going to put those back and then we're going to move on into the drawers. Okay, before we get in over in the drawers, these are the setting sprays and foundations that are in my project pan for the year. Um, I kind of want to go through this and see what we have to see if... I want to use any of it. Um, I guess I'll pull out this Lancome eyeliner yet again to see if I can finish her up. I want to pull out a foundation. And basically, all I got is freaking Maybelline products <laughs> that I want to finish up. Oh, you know what? I could pull out the NARS. We could pull out the NARS in this one and we are going to pull in these new products that I just got in from Elegantly Me Cosmetics. We have a liquid lipstick, a single eyeshadow and a blush that we're going to move on over into the new month. I always keep these baskets behind me so that I know to grab for them first or at least try to. So, and I know they're trying to get dirty, which I'm waiting on my drawer systems to come in. So this type of thing won't happen. But for right now, we're just going to continue to clean the products off and work with them. You guys, we do have some items in the project pan empties, which I'm excited for. Um, but anyways, let's see. Okay, let's move on into... The pressed powders, concealers, and things like that. You know what? We could pull over these two, the Fenty and the MAC concealers, and see how much we could use. We can also pull in milk chocolate to see how much we can use. And once again, you guys, I know this stuff is dirty, but of course I'm going to clean it all off before using it because it's dust running around here we're gonna pull back in the cover girl queen ebony bronzer we're gonna pull that the original one back in and we're gonna move on from there these lippies um there's actually nothing i really want to use let's move on over into the drawer systems we need, I don't know if I want to go to the new stuff first or, you know what, let's go to the new stuff first because this is how I always forget about some things. Okay, so I do want to use the Creme Shop I Am Silky Matte Primer and Setting Spray. I got this from CVS, so I do want to use that. I also want to try using the Wet n Wild prime focus primer serum is a hydrating one i just found this at cvs last night i went and used some coupons that needed to be used before the month was over so i want to use that um i don't want to use no more primers because i have what four primers and that makes five so Oh, I know what I want to use, though. I know exactly what I want to use. I want to use the Revolutions Golden Sugar 2 Rose Gold Blush. And it's a blush palette, but it's highlighters to me. Oh, this one is the blush. I have the highlighter, too, I believe. So let's see. We're going to put that out. I did pick up the LA Girls Fierce and Wild. This is what the shadows look like. Comment down below if you guys want to look using that palette and I will um that's a cleanser oh look you guys what I finally found the elf dewy primer yes I found it as well as the luminous putty primer which I want to do a review on I have some new lips I have the loose highlighters I want to pull these back out the black radiance this one is in honeymoon and the other one is in 
Coco Kisses, the dark and the light one. So we're gonna pull that out. What else is down here? Ooh, I did pick up the new Revlon's lips. Um, Y'all know this basket gets overflown and overpowered a lot. So, okay, let's put that down. I don't wanna use this lippy yet. I I'm telling y'all. Oh, this one is in Cinnamon Roll. I am pulling this one out. The NYX Cinnamon Roll everybody was hyped about. Um, I do want to use this, but I want to use the liquid lipstick first. So let's see. Got some daily collagen. We have the new NYX Powder Puff and Cool Intentions we're going to use. I heard many good things about those. Um, and I have another one. Oh, I had picked up two cool intentions. So we're going to see what it's like. If these are good, I will put this one in the giveaway because I'm pretty sure I don't need two of them. But we are going to pull out the Born to Glow by NYX. We're going to pull out the CoverGirl Clean Fresh Skin Milk. And there's one more foundation that I need to pull out I'm gonna pull out this lip but where's the foundation that I want to review for you guys where is she there's a foundation down here the black radiance no where's my new foundation okay you guys abort Abort, 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 because I know I have it in here. We are going to use this one as well. And I'm going to walk you guys through all of this. Um, bit of honey we, we can use. Um, but Oh, here it goes. The Revline Candid. And we're going to use this new Maybelline one. Like I said, I'm going to run you guys through all of this because I'm just picking right now and I know you guys are wanna gonna see the products we do have the Born to Glow concealer I'm gonna put the Cody Airspun back cuz I'm just not ready yet not quite ready let's see what else we have in here oh we do have two new lipsticks from L'Oreal infallibles line um, but I do think I want to use this one, the Born to Go Illuminator. I don't know, you guys. I've been into the dewy looks lately, and I don't know what's going on. So we're going to put all this back. I did pick up the L.A. Girl Set and Spray, too, last night. So we're going to put all this back. I think I got everything that I wanted to try. I do really want to pull out this e.l.f. primer, but... I have too many primers out and we do like I said have the luminous putty primer which we need to test out too I'm gonna put that foundation back because I'm not ready but here is some of the products we're gonna take out of the new section um, I'm thinking about using my Capari toner as a setting spray you know what let's pull out the Bobbi Brown just in case as a backup we're going to use three of these foundations for first impressions and wear tests. So, yeah. But we only have three concealers out. So, we need to pull at least one more out. And these are the only ones that should have been in my shop, my stash. So, I am going to pull out the Revolution C13 and see if that works. I kind of want to use my Maybelline Honey. But I'm not ready yet. I'm not ready. Primers and setting sprays. We just pulled out a setting spray. We're still working on one setting spray. We got another one up there. So the only thing I could think of to pull out would be this setting spray right here. Even though this area is my shop mustache area. <laughs> I can only think of pulling out the hydrating rose water by the Magic Collection. So we're going to pull that bad boy out. We have blushes, we have two highlighters, so I 
I think this area was the shop mustache highlighter. So I'm gonna pull out the Hakari's Shimmer Bronzer and I use it as a blush and highlighter at times. So that's the only one we're gonna pull out, I believe. Now these liquid highlighters, we have a few more. You know what? We're gonna pull out the All Over Glow Ruby Kisses highlighter. This one is in Bronze Glow. We're gonna take that one out as well. And then that'll be it because we don't need no liquid highlighters or anything like that. Um, Look at me. Oh yeah, no. We don't need none of these. So we're good here. Um, We're good on this drawer as well. This is just leftovers and overflow. That's brushes right here. We don't need to go into the brushes. Single eyeshadows. No, we actually don't need none of that. None of these. No more glitters. The eyeliners, I think we're going to just kick back and chill on for right now. Unless I find, oh, I do need a liquid eyeliner. Ooh, let's pull out the Evian 24-hour liquid eyeliner. And let's try the L'Oreal Superstar eyeliner and see if those work. Yeah, we're going to see if those work. You know what? I'm going to pull out one more, the L'Oreal um, Voluminous liquid eyeliner. And we'll be done there. We really don't need no small eyeshadow palettes because I didn't want to use it. Oh, this Ebion is looking beautiful though. You guys, can y'all believe this is all the small eyeshadows I have left? Ugh. Okay, so for the lips, I know we're gonna go into a totally different drawer for the lips, so there's no need to go through these. And I believe that is it, yes. That is it. So I'm going to transfer all this over to there and then we're going to talk. Okay. Whoo, child. It looks like we have a lot to get through for February. That's what it's looking like. I did separate everything to make everything look more together <laughs> and it, it looks like a lot it really does but keep in mind items are being tested out for the first time items are being project panned and items are being ran through because we forgot about them work with your girl okay work with your girl so I'm gonna go from the easiest things I am keeping my fancy matchsticks. This one is an espresso and truffle. You guys know I use these to cream contour on the days that I like to contour. And they're not a project pan or anything, but I would like to get more use out of them than I have. Espresso has this much left, you guys. We are doing really good with espresso. And then here we are with truffle. We have a whole lot more than espresso to work with when it comes down to truffle, but I use this to contour my nose and that's it. So it's gonna be a while before we can use that one all up, but we're gonna continue to work with these. Okay, so next is the eye bases and we're still gonna work with the NYX eyeshadow base. We're still we haven't used this at all this month, well, last month. So therefore, we're gonna use that one up. We did use the Ardell Photo Face. Yes, concealer, it's the full coverage. That's a dupe for P. Louise, which we have P. Louise right here. And you know what? We could do a side-by-side -side comparison. If you guys would like, let me know down below in the comments. Um, I do have the concealer in medium 8.5 as well as P. Louise rumor number two. So we're gonna continue to use both of these bad boys as eyeshadow bases, but let me know if you guys would like a side-by-side -side comparison and wear test on these because I never did it on my channel. So moving on, we have four concealers to work with this month. We do have two Project Pan concealers, which is the MAC 
Prolonged Wear Concealer in NC45. And then we have the Fenty Pro Filter in 370. So these two are Project Pan items. So we're going to use those. And we're going to use a brand new one, Born to Glow Concealer. It's a Radiant Concealer. And I got mine in the shade Warm Honey. So I will be doing like a first impression and wear test on this concealer and foundation. So be on the lookout for that as well. And then the only Shop My Stash concealer that I felt like I wanted to use was the Revolutions Conceal and Define Concealer in C13. So let's speak about eyeliners. You guys, we have four eyeliners to work with. We have the Project Pan, what is this, Lancome little water eyeliner it's a pencil eyeliner that i've been having for a while and i've been wanting to use it up so we do have that one and of course we're still going to use the nyx matte liquid liner which like i said i need to go and get another one so the three that i pulled out was the l'oreal super star liquid eyeliner and this one is in black as well as the l'oreal voluminous liner in black as well once again felt tip we're gonna hope and pray that she works well all of them are swatching really good right now so we're gonna hope and then i have my ebbian new york it's the 24 hour eyeliner liquid eyeliner and once again they are all three felt tips but they are all three swatching good so let's hope and pray that we can get some creative decent wing liners out of this all right so moving on over into the glitters that we have left i didn't add or remove any because i didn't use any so we're still going to use smoldering satin by stila we're going to use the nyx liquid crystal and this one is in crystal silk so gold liquid liner we have the walgreens brand liquid liner that came in like the um what is it called the disney character collection this one is from cinderella and it is a silver i never used it we're gonna keep using the star looks rose gold cream eyeshadow that i never used as well as the fancy beauties what are these called eclipse two-in-one glitter liners and neptune i never did use this so hopefully we get some uses out of these the single eyeshadows of course we're gonna try to use the elegantly me cosmetic single eyeshadow in salmon some more we did use this twice already that's what i have on my eyes currently right now so we're gonna try to use that we have a few glitters from aoa studio that we're gonna try to use i have a black one you know what i could put the black one back because I'm not going to be using a black no time soon, but I did use it for my New Year's look. So we can put that one back. Um, we could keep the silver one out, though. This one is in diamond. It's a silver. So we could use that one as well as the one that's called white opal. Um, we have all these single eyeshadows from Mayo Makeup Pigments that I've been wanting to use and still haven't used. So we're gonna keep those in as well as our Project Pan ColourPop Singer Eyeshadow and I Heart This. Y'all, I've been wanting to use this up, but I just haven't used it, not one time. And she's a pretty color, but I don't know why I haven't used it. So we're gonna keep those in and see if we could get some use out of those. All right, so for the lip liners, you guys, we got a few lip liners. We're going to keep the Maybelline Color Sensational in Rich Chocolate. We have the NYX Slide On Glide On in Urban Cafe, which I do believe I used this, but I can't remember. But Urban Cafe sounds very familiar. We are going to keep Jordana Coco Loco in. I did use this, but I actually just love it. We're going to keep the City Colors lip liner in. This one is in the shade Coco. We never tried the Wet n Wild gel lip liner. This one is in Gone Burgundy, so we need to use that. We need to use the lip liner 
NYX lip liner in Coco as well. This is another one, sounds like. Oh no, that was the City Colors. And then MAC Knife Moth. Y'all know these are basically like staple lip liners to me. So we're gonna keep those in. Now let's move on into, let's just move right on into the blush and highlighter since it's not many. We are going to use the Ruby Kisses All Over Glow Powder in Bronze Glow. You guys know that this one had broke once I bought it, but I still have some to use. So she's not a project pen or anything because she did shatter. So I do just want to go ahead and give her a try before she's just really all gone. We're going to pull in the Hakari's Shimmer Bronzer. I use this as a highlighter at all times but she does have you know a light and a dark side to it so I like the two gold colors for a highlighter so we're gonna use that of course we're gonna keep in the mega glow by wet n wild this one is in golden flower crown so we're gonna continue to use her and of course oh I almost dropped it of course elegantly me cosmetics blush in touch Touch of Spice, we're gonna continue to use that. That's what I have on my cheek today and I actually really like it. So we're gonna give her a go. And you guys, ooh, she is bomb. I opened her to see what she looked like and oh, I don't know why I haven't dipped off into this yet. But look at here. The Revolutions Ultra Blush Palette this one is the rose gold sugar 2 golden palette and oh my god i see one maybe two blushes in here but all highlighters after that i don't know what i would do with this color right here besides a transition shade but all six of these are like highlighters to me this may can be a blush but it may be too light for my skin tone yeah she looks a little too light for my skin tone, but I could try her. Ooh, y'all. I never used her before. Oh my God. This is so big. Oh. Can y'all see that? Ooh. I'm getting excited already. Like, this one is a little pinkish, but she's popping as well. And I'm pretty sure you can use these with setting spray and stuff so i'm super excited to try this out and i don't know why i haven't tried this out yet but we're gonna work with her and see what we like okay so pressed powders i'm gonna say pressed powders but this is a contour of course queen ebony bronzer the original cover girl she is a project pen you see the dark marking right here but we're gonna go back to her because i actually kind of like her more than the full spectrum one so, I'm going to keep working with her. I already told you guys we're going to keep the Ruby Kisses Matte Finishing Powder in Chestnut. We also pulled out another project pan, which is the Black Radiance True Complexion Soft Focus Powder in Milk Chocolate. You guys, we have to use her up. We're doing really good. So I'm gonna use her this month. And moving on into the setting powders, I am gonna keep the Honey by Fenty, the Pro Filter. I'm gonna see if she's, you know, too drying or not. But I am gonna also pull out the Black Radiance Loose Setting Powder. This one is in Cocoa Kisses. I'm gonna try to use this for all over setting powder. She is on the darker side, but we are gonna try to use her. She's very rich chocolate, so we're going to see if she's given two chocolate or just enough. And if she's given two chocolate, I will move this over into my makeup kit for my clients. And then we also have this one. This is the loose one as well, and this one is in Honeymoon. She's more for everyday face type of look when you don't want to be too highlighted. But she may work as an all over face powder as well. So we're going to test her out and try her many different ways and see how we like her. And of course, we're going to keep the Cody Airspun in. For some reason, I fell back in love with it. And I just, 
I don't know what to do without her. So we're gonna keep the translucent extra coverage. I have her on today and y'all, I just fell back in love with her. So we're gonna keep her out as well. Let's talk about the primers. We only really pulled in one new primer. We're gonna keep the original ones that were in here. The Wet n Wild Matte Primer. The Ruby Kisses Never Touch Up Primer. We're gonna keep that. We're gonna continue to work with the Wet n Wild. The Too Faced Hangover RX. The Elf Poreless Face Primer. The Elf Poreless Putty Primer, you guys. I have been using it just not as much as I would like to and I actually really like this primer so now we're gonna add in the new wet n wild prime focus primer serum it's a hydrating serum I never tested it never heard no one talk about it so I'm very interested in trying it out and it has a good smell to it and I just decided to add the NYX Born to Glow Liquid Illuminator over into this. This one is in Gleam. You guys, I actually really freaking been getting into dewy faces lately. And I'm all, y'all know, if y'all been following me from the beginning, y'all know your girl is a matte girl. But for some reason, Dewey has been getting to me and I've been wanting to try it just to see how I feel about it. And I haven't been able to get this Soul Body Bronzers from ColourPop. So I picked up this one instead since I could find this one and couldn't find the Soul one yet in stores. You guys know I'm not a big fan of shopping online. So I'll deal with that one. The brow products, I told you guys we're going to keep in the original brow products that we had. Um, let's move on into all these lips. You guys, let's move into all these lips. Okay, so the ones that we're still going to keep is MAC Heron. For some reason, I've been wanting to use this purple, so I'm going to use it. These butter glosses from NYX. I still haven't opened this one. So we have Banana Split. We have Mirage, Marouge. And then we have Peaches and Cream, which we never opened Peaches and Cream. But you guys, I'm determined to use these butter glosses because, oh, and we have um, Vanilla Cream Pie. I've been determined to use these and I'm gonna use them. I'm gonna get some feels out of them before they go bad. So we're gonna keep those. We're gonna keep that single lipstick. We have the two new butter glosses we're gonna add to this month is gonna be Bit of Honey as well as Cinnamon Roll. Cinnamon Roll better be a good one. You guys ramped and raved and hyped Cinnamon Roll all the way up, so it better be a good one. I found it last night at my CVS as well as Bit of Honey, and I thought Bit of Honey was a damn good nude. So we're gonna add these two bad boys to the collection too. Now let's move on to all the liquid lipsticks. We got some new ones. Let's talk about the new ones or let's talk about the repeats. We're gonna keep the Jazzy Girl Cosmetics liquid lipstick in. This one is in Ritzy. And we're gonna keep the ColourPop Crystal Ball in. These were from last month, but I just, I like the nude from Jazzy Girl. She wears a very long time, but it's something I wanna do with this, this one by ColourPop that I just haven't figured out yet, so we're gonna keep those. And then I added two more news, which is the Beauty Bakery's Lip Whip. This one is in Honey. And then we have the LA Colors Matte Liquid Lipstick, and this one is in Sultry. Now for the four new ones, we have Elegantly Me Cosmetics. This one is in Fall in Love. I have her on my lips right now. You guys, she's a very good liquid lipstick and I want to continue to test her out. I did pick up this new Maybelline Super Ink Tattoo Matte, no, 
the new Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink Lipstick. And this one is in Loyalist. Loyalist. And she is a... Look at the packaging. That's what stood out to me and made me want to pick her up. So hopefully she's a pretty shade. Let's see. Oh, she's a very light nude. I think I could work with her. You guys know I love light nudes more than the natural nudes. So, of course, we have the NYX Powder Puff Lippy. Let's open her up. Powder Puff Lippy in Cool Intentions, which I accidentally pulled, picked up two, and I thought, I thought I picked up two different shades, but Cool Intentions, which is very pretty. I heard that these are very weird looking, and they have a unique texture so i'm not going to swatch her or anything because i want to get the first impression on camera when i actually use her and then the last lipstick i've been eyeballing these liquid lipsticks for the longest as well as the lip glosses um i did pick up the lip gloss as you guys seen but these are the revlon ultra hd matte liquid lip colors and this one is in the shade seduction so here's what she looks like I've been eyeballing these for a minute. Oh, she smells good too. Oh, she's very close to the Maybelline one. This is, she feels like a moussey texture too. Oh, she's gonna be a pretty nude. Oh, yes. She's very close, a little bit darker than the Maybelline one, but you guys, we're gonna test her out and see if we like her as well. All right, so two more categories. We have the setting sprays and then the foundations and then we will be done. So let's move the setting sprays over. You guys know we're still gonna work with the Pixie Makeup Fixing Mist. And we're almost done with her. She's a part of the Project Pan. Um, we're gonna continue to work with this mini Maybelline Make It Last setting spray, which I like. I like and I love. So we're going to leave those out and then we're going to pick up the Capari Coconut Rose Toner. This is this is a rose toner. You can use it before makeup, after makeup or during makeup. And I actually really freaking like this. It is on the expensive side. I got it from Sephora, I believe. Um, she is a bit of an expensive side, but she locks in your makeup and make her stay all day long. So we're going to use her. And then one of the setting sprays that I found in my local beauty supply store is the Magic Collection Rose Water Hydrating Mist. I actually really like this. As you could tell, I didn't use half a bottle and she's really good. So I need to show her some more love. And then the new one by the Crim Shop, you guys, this surprised me when I busted out the box. She looks really fancy and luxurious. This is I Am Silky Matte Primer and Setting Spray. It's a 12 plus hour makeup elongation. So look at her. Look at how fancy this looks. And like I done said before, I never knew Crim Shop came out with more to their makeup line. I remember the lashes back in the day and the makeup, the makeup accessories like the tools and stuff, but they have branched out to makeup. And you guys know the Crim Swipe Right Gel Brow mascara is like my holy grail now so i was eager to test this out and i also have the creme it's a facial cleanser that i picked up that i want to try out but i'm gonna do one thing at a time so i'm excited to try the i am silky setting spray as well as primer so you could use it as a primer and setting spray so just a reminder, we're keeping these two in by Nika K. I found these at my local beauty supply store as well. We have Sugar Plum and Poison Apple. We're going to keep those in for the month and give them some more love. Now the last section, which is foundations. You guys, I'm excited. For foundations, we're going to have two Project Pan foundations. We're going to keep in the Maybelline Dewy and Smooth 
foundation in 355 coconut i told you guys i've been on this dewy kick for some odd reason so i'm just gonna keep rolling with it and see how i feel i also brought in my nars all day luminous weightless foundation this one is in the shade new ghana and as you can tell she's a project pan too and i think we're about right here left in this foundation so we're gonna use her i just pulled in the bobby brown this one is the skin foundation and this one is in 6.75 golden almond you guys know i love my bobby brown as well so i thought why not just pull her over just in case some of these foundations don't work out for your girl so we do have three new foundations that we're going to be doing a foundation wear test on we do have the nyx born to glow naturally radiant foundation andrea renee ramps and raves about this and says it's her favorite foundation and me and her are close in shade range i noticed most of the products that she pick out and most of the shades she pick out actually does work for my skin tone so i got cappuccino just like her but i did see them i swatched the mahogany and the cappuccino and walked around ulta and i kind of think mahogany could work for me too so depending on how cappuccino looks i may go back and get mahogany and test that out too but i said i was gonna start off with cappuccino and then we have the covergirl clean clean fresh skin milk nourishing foundation with coconut milk and aloe extract and i got the shade 630 deep dark there is one more after this and one more before this but i decided to just kind of play it safe because this one looked like it matched me a little bit better and did y'all know covergirl has finally went cruelty free i i think i missed that somewhere but they did, and this is it's a dewy finish. So you guys, we're going to be doing a first impression and wear test on this bad boy as well. Let me know if y'all would like for me to pick up the new Milani Screen Queen foundation and do a review on it. Let me know. If not, then I won't worry about it because I was a little iffy about it anyway. But if you guys would like to see me do a review on it, I will go and pick it up. So the last foundation is going to be the Revol the Revolution. The Revline Photo Ready Candid Glow Moisture Glow Anti-Pollution Foundation. So you guys know I do have the regular Candid Foundation. Now they came out with the Glow Foundation and this one is in Mocha as well. So once again, we're going to do a a foundation review and wear test on this and if you guys would like i could do a review on the glow side and the matte side and let you guys you know determine on which one would best suit you you guys let me know i'm here to give you what you need i also have the concealer and the setting powder so y'all let me know and i will get it done for y'all but that is everything that we're doing for shop my stash for the month of february hopefully you guys enjoy hopefully i picked out some great items for you guys to be interested in i'm excited for the love month i have a lot of products that i want to test out and get some use out of and i know i got some bomb looks at least some first impressions and wear tests for you guys to check out this month so hopefully y'all enjoyed hopefully you guys have subscribed and clicked the notification bell and became a part of the family if not go ahead and do so now and in the words of my loyal subscribers stay shiny and i will catch y'all in the next one